Hello, love bugs. Originally, my plan for my video this week was to give you a tour of this adorable little cottage that I kind of speed built over a couple of days and then community members showed up in force to help me finish. And while I am very proud of what I have on my house tour today, I, or this week, I'm not nearly as proud of it as I am of one community member that I really want to take a minute to feature this week. I want to talk about this person this week, not just because they have the biggest heart that I have ever seen and constantly are stopping things that they are working on so that they can help their friends, but because they have a plot up this week that I think is one of the best ones that I have ever seen in all of Palia, and honestly, it deserves to be trending. So while I might not be the creator that could get them on the trending list, what I am hoping that uh, we are as a community is someone that could support our friend at least getting an absolute ridiculous amount of reactions to show just how much we love them for constantly stopping their own projects to help us hunt, to bring us all of their luck that they bring on all of our different expeditions, and to just show respect <laughs> for what they have built to share with the community. So this week, instead of coming to visit my house, I humbly request that you take a minute to go to this one. And that is the home of our friend Studs, or as we know him in Palia, the damn neighbor. Yes, Studs built a freaking pyramid out of gold blocks. However, not only did Studs build this giant, huge pyramid, that is absolutely insane and incredible. It is absolutely chock full of surprises. So when you come to visit, make sure you explore. And before I walk into this pyramid to give you all a glimpse of what you'll see if you come to this plot, no, Studs is not a hacker. Studs, if you look at Studs player score, right in here when you pull up your player score and it shows you how many levels you have in your different skills which gives you your overall player score as you all know i play this game a lot and i have a player score of 559 i'm also really bad about eating my flow food <laughs> eating food for from for my flow uh studs is in the thousands studs plays palia absolutely totally in an addiction kind of way and is unbelievably talented when doing builds Studs also constantly stops doing whatever he is doing to help people get plushies and get things that they are looking for. Constantly running horns for us to find Elkton, constantly helping us find Mujin in trees. And I'm actually wearing this outfit today because yesterday Studs stopped everything he was doing to help me find Elkton. And with this outfit on, get me my very first proud horn uh Cernuk plushie uh i'm only level 91 in hunting it was i, I cried it, it was it, it was about time <laughs> but anyway so before i show you this plot no this is not done with any hacks studs did all of the work to make this happen there was no cheating of any kind this is just studs being studs and I'm also not going to show you everything because I want you to come and explore yourself so we're going to head into the main part of the pyramid already look at this here is the horde of workers that studs had to build his pyramid yes this is all legit and it is insane i have gone hunting several times with studs i have enough of these plushies to at least wrap one of these fountains myself just from going around with studs studs really does stay up all night helping new players find plushies and get the, them for the first time or hunt down the one that they're missing and that has led to all of this gloriousness i mean it's absolutely insane like let's be honest also look at all the gemstones totally totally a flex uh this is definitely a treasure room of a build uh, <laughs> uh but also just some little cute stuff going on as well i mean uh, this this has a mix of being like a giant giant flex while also being a really interesting and fun build if you come up into this little conservatory i mean look at that look at all the gold and the silver wing plushes and i love that he used it with his to put his trophies and everything up here as well 
it's like a little and i love this little mix of just like the trophies on top of all of these kinds of chests like it really does look like something that should be protected by dragons i don't even want to talk about these um the fact that i just got my first one and my only one oh oh and um there's more over here uh, studs i know this is a personal attack on me but i still love you and i'm making this video because i love you so um and i'm pretty sure that's not even all the ones that he has i don't want to talk about it uh anyway um again this is just an absolutely stunning plot the amount of work that it took not just to hunt all these plushies and to get all of those gemstones and to get all the money that studs had to make to get this block i know firsthand when he first started building it um he thought that he knew the number that he needed to make and it ended up being like double that and he was like oh my gosh i did my math wrong and i'm not even close and he spent days and days and days getting it uh, getting enough money so that he could even build this in the first place and as you can see there are some other little hidden areas that you can go into i love that he has like a hangout spot for his little uh, worker mujin plushies uh com complete with a, a bar with a cute little choppa back there to, to take care of them um and then there's also a bunch of other hidden things uh on this absolutely incredible plot like walking up the back of it um that that you are able to do or even just heading to the other side look at just look at these walkways i'm also just impressed by how he used the, the gold places to create like these little hidden walk spaces i also like this gap here because it's like you get this little view of the rest of the pyramid as you're going up into this little hidden workspace full of books of course some more plushies you've got the mouse plush up here some of the uh I, the the stuff from the pirate um the the pirate stuff you can get from the wheel i love that there's just like a plush hanging out up there like looking out over everything i also just really love this table like i wasn't gonna walk up here i was gonna let y'all do it yourselves um but i really love this table here with the uh gemstones on it um mixed with the pirate stuff i just think it looks really really good especially considering the build uh so Anyway, this is incredible. As you can see, it's absolutely amazing. And like I said, uh, while I would love it to be trending, I know that that's like a whole thing in order to make that happen. But I do think it is worth it for y'all to just come here, drop a little magic reaction <laughs> and show studs some love. If you don't know studs, studs probably has run into you in game wearing his adorable little hot dog costume and has probably jumped in to help or fulfilled one of your requests or run around with you for a second to help you find something that you needed or come to help you chop a flow tree that you needed help chopping and you didn't even realize it he is just that kind of player and he put his absolute bleeding heart and hard work into this plot and it deserves to have its little time in the sun i mean come on just look at this thing Anyway, there are more secrets and surprises if you want to come to the plot and try to find them. I highly, of course, encourage it. If you don't have time to come and do all that and this was enough for you to give some love to studs, uh, again, the damn neighbor, please please come give stud some love this is my my high request of all of you i love you all so much bye bye